It has been kind of a warm and wet summer so far, which means the threat of mosquitoes and West Nile virus is now very real. Three counties in Ohio have had mosquitoes test positive for carrying the virus, and Clark County is about to begin their mosquito control. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart is asking questions about this year's mosquito season. She joins us live. Last year in Clark County, 11 pools of mosquitoes tested positive for West Nile virus, with one person reported of contracting it. Now, while this year there have been no confirmations in the Miami Valley, the threat is just beginning. Many believe winters determine mosquito population, but the insects reproduce quicker than that, which means warmer, wetter springs, more mosquitoes. If you notice that we, you know, we had hardly any mosquitoes in April uh, because it was so cool. And then we started seeing uh, an increase in, in late May. Clark County has received funds from Ohio EPA for mosquito surveillance and prevention and will begin misting today and wrap up July 6th or 7th, weather permitting. We did discover Aedes albopictus uh, here in Clark County through our regular trapping activities, uh, and that was a trigger to go ahead and, and do a fogging. That is the mosquito known to carry the Zika virus, but Schaefer says it's too early to tell what West Nile virus activity will look like in the Miami Valley. But three counties in Ohio have already tested mosquitoes positive for the virus. And those are Franklin, Lucas, and Summit counties. He assures Clark County has traps set up in about 15 different locations that they check and test each day for the virus. It's important that we monitor the same locations so we can compare data uh, from year to year, week to week, month to month. And encourages you to do your part to help prevent the spread of any mosquito borne illness. Wear appropriate clothing, use EPA approved repellents, reduce the breeding sites around the home, keep the gutters cleared out, keep the bird bath water changed, dump the water out of the kids' toys that are in the yard. Schaefer also wants you to know that as soon as a pool of mosquitoes does test positive for the West Nile virus, they will immediately alert the public and they will have any information that you need to know. Reporting live, Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.